So today's exciting. I'm doing a how to chalk paint. I've chalk painted a lot of stuff and I absolutely love it. This is going to be a huge project as you can see. It is our bed. Uh, way cheaper than buying a new one and we can make it custom and primo. So what you're going to need today is some clothes that you don't care about getting dirty. And I just had to get another. This is what we're going to be using today. We are using Annie Salone's Pure White. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. I'll show you some other pieces that I've done with this. Um, I bought a couple years ago worth the, worth the money. I think it was $35. The Annie Salone paintbrush. It's fabulous. It helps with corners and all sorts of stuff. And then I also just have an old um, makeup brush I don't use. That's going to do um, in between. As you can see, there's some some extra little detail stuff here. Cool part about chalk painting is you don't have to sand it. Uh, you don't have to prime it. You can just go for it. Uh, Amy Salone chalk paint is amazing. It's not. Um, it's mineral based. So if it falls or water based and minerals, and if so, if it falls on your carpet, you can clean it up really quick. It's not going to stain. Uh, so it's user friendly. It doesn't really smell much at all. Um, so for the prepping process, this is how we are going to prep it. First is odorless mineral spirits. This stuff is cheap. You can get it at um, Home Depot, anywhere like that. Second step is we're going to use crud cutter. Um, I advise buying this to at Walmart or wherever. It's a lot cheaper than at the actual place where I get my chalk paint. And the second step is I get a bowl, you'll see in a little bit, 50% um, white vinegar from your kitchen and 50% water and then that just kind of cleanses the rest of it and you let that dry and then you're ready to paint. So you're going to need a couple of these for your projects and I just take it on the sponge side. This stuff doesn't smell that bad. It's not too crazy. Get a good amount and I just start going over the furniture in all the angles. It's always a little extra labor of love doing it yourself, but nothing like uh, the, the awesomeness of doing the stuff yourself. Now that that's done, we're going to take another Sponge. You want to make sure you use the um, rough side. And I just spray it on here as well. Now we're taking the crud cutter. This is a degreaser and a stain remover. So whatever's been hanging out on your furniture for a while, it really helps to get it all off. All right, I've used this on other projects with a little dirty, but again, 50 water, 50% 50 white vinegar. Just a, a nice, whatever, everyday rag. Makes me think of Easter. You dye eggs with vinegar. Okay, last step for prepping your furniture. This helps get it all off. So when you're working with certain like wood projects that don't have paint on it already, you can tell when you're cleaning it off that this three-step process gets that sheen off furniture, the glaze or I don't know whatever you call that, the finishing touch and allows the wood to really get ready to receive the chalk paint and the chalk paint sticks to it. And again, I've used chalk paint on wood, plastic, I've also used it on glass. Um, sticks to like everything. It's fantastic. Got this other piece of furniture, the stool, um, right here. I got the top all unscrewed off and it's very dusty. I think it's been in the barn for a couple years. Um, so I'm going to get this prepped and then we're going to start painting. I got the first coat done. As you can see, it's a little wet still. And if you start your second coat before that's dried, it actually is going to strip the paint off um, and show more of the wood underneath. So make sure it's fully dry before you do second coat. So as you can see, the first coat does not have to be absolutely perfect. 
And then I have to go over to the store and grab some more paint, unfortunately. Uh, but here is this one. Um, you can see it's going to be cool. I didn't fill in completely because I want to make this one look totally shabby chic, kind of vintage. Um, so I'm going to leave some of that wood showing through and not um, completely paint that. So this is going to be quite cool. I'm not going to paint the inside because you're not going to see that point. But so as you can see, it's looking good. Still lots of spots, but I'm going to kind of do like the, the shabby chic type of look so it's not going to be solid white. Um, here I've used a little paintbrush to be able to get between all these rungs and there's a few boo-boos but I'll be able to get that up. So this is already dry. I just finished the back so now I am going to do the second coat home stretch. Extra step to sanding is going to be um, distressing. So with chalk paint distressing when you use sand you must always wear a mask. So awesome. Uh, because when you sand it, the chalk paint is mineral based and the dust from sanding can get into your lungs and it'll stay there forever, um, which is not good. So always wear a sand, a mask when you sand and use 20, 220 grid for your sandpaper. It's a finer sandpaper and it works great. So. Um, really when it comes to sanding just light pressure um, and just sand as much as you want it distressed I'm actually gonna do the stool that I just finished. I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, shabby chicness to it um, Make it a little bit more funky fun. Um, so that is how you sand um, Make sure you do outside or vacuum because it's kind of like a powder when it's done and make sure you use a Damp washcloth to wipe off the rest of the residue so it's not super um, like chalk getting on everything so that is the lowdown for sanding. So here is my stool, reupholstered and finished. Is that not awesome? I did two coats, and again, I just kind of left some of that undone. There is the fun stool. I left that black there just for a little contrast. I didn't want to distress it, but there is that finished product. As you can see, it's kind of a, um, kind of like a flat white. All right, it is complete. The bed took five and a half hours to paint this. I finished with a little bit of sanding, as you can see, and distressed it. Totally added the character it needed. I'm in love with how the bed turned out. Some of the spots took about three coats. You can see here the headboard. This looks awesome. And obviously I got the pillows here, but just kind of kept that just nice and simple. Distressed the edges a little bit. Got some sweet sheets from Ikea. Got a down comforter from Ikea as well. We need to get a duvet cover. We're ordering that from Amazon. I got all of my sweet pillows from Ross. I got this awesome fake fur blanket that I love from Home Goods. But yes, I am just in love with how the bed turned out. Look how cool all of that looks. So it was worth it, I'm in love with it, and I cannot wait to see what you guys end up doing if you do any of your own do-it-yourself chalk projects.